Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to discuss about one more shortest path algorithm by name Johnson algorithm. Please note that Johnson algorithm is an all pair shortest path algorithm in the sense for a given graph with n number of vertices, this algorithm finds the shortest path among all the vertices. This is almost similar to that of the Floyd's algorithm that we have already discussed in case of dynamic programming. Now coming to this Johnson algorithm, in case of the Johnson algorithm, the Johnson algorithm works with the help of both the Dijkstra's as well as the Bellman fold algorithm. In the sense, the Johnson algorithm is built with the help of both the Bellman fold as well as the Dijkstra's algorithm. Both this Dijkstra's as well as the Bellman fold algorithm, as we have seen, are single source shortest path algorithm. Even though Johnson algorithm uses the concept of Dijkstra's and Bellman fold algorithm, which were single source shortest path algorithm, Johnson is an all pair shortest path algorithm. Before going uh, to discuss the Johnson algorithm, let's see the difference between the Dijkstra's and the Bellman fold algorithm. Now what is the difference between these two algorithms? First difference is the Dijkstra's algorithm is based on greedy technique. The technique that we use, that is the design technique that we use in case of Dijkstra's is greedy. But whereas in case of Bellman fold, the design technique that we use is dynamic programming. The second difference between Dijkstra's and Bellman fold is, in case of Dijkstra's, the Dijkstra's algorithm does not work if there are negative edges in a graph. The sense if the graph G has negative edges, the algorithm does not work. Whereas in case of Bellman fold algorithm, if there are negative edges, if there are negative edges also, the algorithm works. The algorithm works fine. But the problem with Bellman fold algorithm is if there is a negative cycle. If there is a negative cycle, Bellman fold algorithm detects the negative cycle but it can't calculate the shortest path. Bellman fold detects the negative cycle but does not calculate the shortest path. It does not calculate the shortest path if the negative cycle exists. This is the difference between the Dijkstra's and the Bellman fold algorithm. I will repeat, Dijkstra's work on the principle of greedy, Bellman, works, uh, Bellman fold works on the principle of dynamic programming. Note that Dijkstra's algorithm does not work if there are negative edges. But whereas in case of Bellman fold, Bellman fold works if there are negative edges, but uh, Bellman fold uh, fails if there is a negative cycle. If there is a negative cycle, then the Bellman fold algorithm does not calculate the shortest path. Now coming back to the Johnson algorithm, the first step in case of Johnson algorithm is called as reweighting. We need to reweight the edges. First we will see what do you mean by reweighting the edges. Coming to what do you mean by reweighting the edges. If you see this particular graph. Now let me denote this graph 
as g is equal to v comma e where v is the set of uh, uh, vertices and e is the set of edges so how many vertices are there in this particular example if you see there are five vertices number of vertices are uh, five we will not worry about the edges as of now now one important thing about the edges are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 there are nine edges out of these nine edges out of these nine edges some edges are have negative weight so if i directly run dixfoss algorithm on this it fails because dixfoss algorithm can't work on negative edges so what what we mean by reweighting the edges is with the help of reweighting the edges this step converts all the edges of the graph it converts all the edges of the graph g into positive edges now how we do this how we do this now we need to add we need to add an extra vertex x yes small s we need to add an extra vertex s to g therefore my g dash will be a my g, uh, g dash will be a new graph denoted with v dash and e dash e dash now what happens is uh, let me have this graph as it is a b c d e so this is 3 This is minus four, six, minus five, four, seven, one, eight, and this was two. Now what we do? We add an extra vertex S to this graph G. So this was my G. Now I add this. Yes to G. Now my G V dash will have an extra vertex that is five plus one that is six. Now what I will do? I will have an edge from S to all the vertex. One, two, three, four, and one more edge. see so after having an extra vertex x s to my graph g i call it as g dash and i will have an edge so and then we will have we will have edges from s to all vertices in the graph in the graph and let's initialize let's initialize the weight of edges of those edges as zero that means yes to a zero yes to b zero yes to c zero yes to d zero and yes to e zero how this is clear my next step would be to find the shortest path from s to all the vertices anyway we have done the initialization as from s to a it is zero s to b it is zero s to c it is zero s to d it is zero and s to e zero so if i while calculating the shortest path let me let's apply the bellman fold algorithm this shortest path value can either be zero or it can be less than zero less than zero so to find the shortest path i am using this particular uh, formula h of a denotes the shortest path so h of a is equal to delta of s comma a please note that in case of any shortest path algorithm this delta denotes the shortest path h of a is equal to delta of s comma a which is nothing but zero that is from s to a let me have the graph once again here s to a b c 
D and E. This was my yes. Now I calculated the shortest path from yes to a as zero. This yes to a is zero. Now there is a direct edge. Direct edge. Shortest path from yes to b. Shortest path from yes to b is from yes to d. Yes to d with a value of zero. From uh, d to c with a value of minus uh, five. From c to b. With a value of uh, uh, this edge was four. This edge was four. So how much it is? Zero minus five plus four is minus one. So from yes to yes to b, yes to b, I got the value as minus one. Please note that it can either be zero or less than zero. Now shortest path. To C, shortest path to C is from S to D with zero, and from next path is D to C is minus five. So this is minus five, minus five. Note that for all this, I am applying I am applying the Bellman fold algorithm. S to D, S to D is zero, S to D is zero. Similarly, uh, shortest path from S to E is minus four. That is from S to A is zero. And from A to E is minus four, so this value is minus four. So this is the next step. What we are supposed to do? We are supposed to find the shortest path from S to all other vertices. So please note that uh, here I am running the Bellman fold algorithm. Why I am running the Bellman fold algorithm here? Because there are some negative edges. Now once this is done, the next step is the next step is to find the new edge cost. The new edge cost, which is denoted with W dash, can be calculated as W dash of u comma v is equal to W of u comma v plus H of u minus H of v. Say for example, if I want to calculate the new uh, edge cost of AB, that uh, new edge cost of AB is calculated as the old edge cost W of AB plus H of A minus H of b. This is nothing but what is the old value, old edge cost of AB? This was three. Plus h of a is zero and h of b. This is minus. What is h of b? H of b is minus one. So this is three plus zero plus one, which which will be four. Similarly, I can calculate w dash of a comma c. W dash of a comma c is nothing but w dash w of a comma c plus h of a minus h of c. What is this? W of a c. W of two. A C weight from A to C is eight. Eight plus H of A is zero minus what is this? Sorry, this was A H C. What is H C? H C value is minus five. Of minus five. So this is eight plus zero minus minus. This is plus five. Eight plus five is equal to thirteen. Similarly, we can calculate the other values. I am calculating the other values. We got W dash of A C as thirteen. W dash of A E we got zero. W dash of B D zero. W dash of B E is ten. W dash of C B is zero. And all other values needs to be calculated. Please note that in order to calculate this value, the equation that we are supposed to use is W dash of U V is equal to W U V plus H of U minus H of V. Now, once we calculate the new edge cost, replace all the all the edge cost. In the previous one, this was the previous edge cost. Now what is a to b? A to b earlier it was a three. Now it is four. Now replace this with four. Next, a c with thirteen. A and c initially it was eight. Now it is thirteen. Next, a e is zero. A e was minus four. Now this becomes zero. B D zero, B two D which was one, now it becomes zero. B E as a ten, B two E was seven, now this becomes ten. 
Similarly, C B as zero, C to B was four, C to B is zero. Now D to C zero, D to C was minus five, zero. D to A two, D E two, A two as it is. Next E to D two, E to D was six. Now this becomes uh, two. S to A zero, S to B one. S to B was minus one. This become this became one. S to C five. S to C was minus five. This become this became five now. S to D as zero. S to D as zero. And S to E which was this become four now. Four now. Now once this is done, once this is done, once rewriting is done, now. Have you a graph? A, B, C, D, E. Now don't consider this yes and all the edges going from yes. Have the original graph and with the new weight. Four, zero, two, zero, zero. This was thirteen. This was two. This was ten, and this was zero. Now, if you compare this with your original graph, all the edges which are having negative values are being replaced with the, the edges with the positive value. Now, once I get this, now we can run now on this new graph. On this new graph, run. Dijkstra's algorithm. For all the vertices, starting from A. So first run Dijkstra's algorithm on A and find the shortest path for all the edges, for all the other vertices. Now run Dijkstra's algorithm from B to all the other vertices. Similarly from C, from D as well as from E. Now the same graph is uh, rewritten uh, here. Now what I told on this particular graph, you have to take A as the source vertex and apply the Dijkstra's algorithm to find the shortest path. So I have mentioned here, take A as the source vertex and find the shortest path to all the other vertices. So this is uh, delta dash of A comma A is the shortest path on this particular graph. Which gave me an answer zero. Similarly, a to b two, a to c two, a to d two, and a to e zero. In order to find the shortest uh, distance on the actual graph, we use this particular formula: delta of u comma v is equal to delta dash of u v, wherein these are my delta dash minus h u plus h v. If you note earlier, we have calculated the value of h, that is h of a, h of b, h of c, h of d, and h of e. The value for this were that is in the first step. H of A was calculated as zero. H of B was minus one. H of C was minus five. H of D was zero, and H of E was minus four. Now apply this. Delta of A comma A is equal to delta dash of A comma A minus H of A plus H of A. Because u and b both were same, this is nothing but zero minus zero plus zero. Because h of a is zero, this becomes zero. Similarly, delta dash delta of a comma b is equal to delta dash of a comma b minus h of a plus h of b. So what is this? Delta dash of a b is nothing but two. Two minus h of a is zero plus h of b. Is plus of minus one, so this is nothing but two minus one is one. Similarly, we can calculate the other values. The other values are delta of AC is equal to minus three, delta of AD is equal to two, and delta of AE is equal to minus four. Even for this, use the same equation. Delta of UV is equal to delta dash of U comma V minus H of U plus H V. Now, once this has been calculated, now what you can do? You can write the shortest path with from A. On the actual graph, from A to A is zero. On A to B is minus one. A to C is minus three. A to D is two, and A to E is minus four. It can be denoted here. Now, what you do? 
this was my A, this was my B, C, D and E. Let me write this A, B, C, D and E. Actual uh, this one uh, H ka H was this was four. This was sorry three. This was minus four. This was six. This was minus five. This was four. This was eight. This was seven. This was one. This was a uh, two, I believe. Seven over two eight. Yeah, this is fine. Now, once I get this, I can denote this as from a. That is, uh, what is a uh, delta dash of a to a zero? I'll write zero here. Actual shortest distance on the original graph is also zero here. So please note that this can be written as delta dash of a a by delta of a comma a. Similarly, this. Delta A to B, A to B is two, A to B is two. Here A to B is one. Similarly with respect to C, this is two, this is minus three. Here A to D, A to D here was two, and here also it is two. A to E here is minus four. There it was zero. That is zero divided by four. So what is the shortest distance? Shortest distance on the actual graph of this. A to A is zero. A to A is uh, zero. A to B is one. A to C is minus three. A to D is two, and A to E is sorry, this is minus four. Minus four. Hope this is clear. Similarly, you can find. Similarly, you can find on this particular uh, uh, graph. Uh, run the Dijkstra's algorithm on uh, uh, by taking B as the source vertex. Similarly, you run the Dijkstra's algorithm by taking E as the source vertex. C as the source vertex and D as the source vertex. On running the Dijkstra's algorithm four more times, you will find the shortest path from B to all other vertices, C to all other vertices, D to all other vertices, and E to all other vertices. The procedure remains the same. You have to follow the same procedure. Yeah, now, if I take B as my source vertex, this will be the shortest path from B. So, if you see from B to B, it is zero. From B to D, it is uh, one. From B to C, it is one minus five is minus four. Uh, so B to A is one plus two three, and B to E similarly it is a one plus two is three. Three minus four is minus one. Similarly, uh, C if I take C as my source vertex, this is the output that I am going to get. D as my source vertex, this is the output that I am going to get. And on taking E as the source vertex, this is the output that I will be getting. Note that for each of these vertices, I should run the Dijkstra's algorithm. Once I run the Dijkstra's algorithm on this particular graph, reweighted graph, I will get the uh, output as the actual shortest path among all the vertices. Hope this is clear. And one more thing, please note that this double line is the is the path is the edge that we are considering. In all this uh, graph, this uh, double uh, line implies that uh, these are the edges that are being considered to find the uh, shortest path. Hope this is clear. Let's uh, go. Let's come back to uh, the algorithm, or let's discuss the uh, pseudo code of uh, the Johnson algorithm. Please keep in mind that the first thing that we are supposed to do was uh, we need to reweight the reweight all the edges. In order to reweight all the edges, we need to add an extra node. Once we add an extra node and reweighting is been done, what we are supposed to do for this new graph? For this new graph, wherein uh, after reweighting we should delete the source vertex, we should run the Dijkstra's algorithm for the number of vertices in the graph. Yeah, if you see, this is the algorithm. The algorithm is being named Johnson, to which the input is a graph G and the a matrix which holds the cost of each of the weight edges denoted with the W. So what is the first step? First step is compute G dash. Wherein for this G dash, I have added an extra vertex uh, denoted with S, 
and uh, uh, g dash dot e what what we have done is from source vertex we have taken uh, the edges to all the vertices in the graph and we have uh, initialized the weight to be uh, zero so this was the first step next second step we have, we have to run bellman fold on the new uh, graph on that new graph which has been initialized with, which has been added with a new source vertex uh, yes and which have been added with new edges if this bellman fold returns false it indicates that uh, there is a negative cycle so print input graph contains a negative cycle if it does not contain negative uh, cycle now what we have to do we are supposed to find the new edge cost for each of those edges that is what we have done for each vertex v which belongs to g dash dot v set h of u to the value delta of s comma uh, v that is i need to run a bellman fold algorithm to find the shortest path next for each edge u comma v i am calculating i am calculating a new edge uh, cost denoted with w dash of u comma v and this was the formula that we have used once we calculate the new edge cost so the uh, entire uh, matrix which contains the cost of the edges will be a new one so let d is equal to d of u comma v be a, be a new n cross n uh, matrices now on that uh, newly constructed graph with no negative edges i need to run dijkstra's algorithm on each of those vertices that is what i have done for each vertex u which belongs to g dot v run dijkstra's algorithm taking u as the source vertex and find the shortest path to calculate the shortest path use this particular equation delta of u of delta of uv is equal to delta dash of uv minus h of u plus h of v and finally that uh, matrix return that matrix uh, d it contains the shortest path among all the vertices hope this is clear thank you